the audio. Okay, I think it's got it. Hello everyone, I'm Stuart, co-founder of Utradia. Today we are going to take a look at GameStop, why it jumped uh, today, and today is Tuesday, March 22nd, 2022. Uh, the other interesting thing we're going to look at is catching this type of social trend uh, using the social sentiment dashboard, which I'll touch on a bit later in the video. So first part, quick run through of what happened today. Second part is how you can catch these trends. So let's get into it. Okay, so... Big highlight here, obviously, GameStop jumps as Ryan Cohen's RC Ventures buys 100,000 shares of GME. So obviously big news um, if the CEO is buying shares of GameStop uh, that, you know, would more than likely cause, uh, cause the price to move. Uh, what's funny is he sent out a tweet later this evening, so said, I put my money where my mouth is, which is funny. And, um, you know, if you saw that tweet without any context, you'd wonder what he's he's talking about. But ultimately, he's saying, you know, he believes in, in GameStop and GME. Um, and he, he proved this by buying 100,000 shares. So this came through a SEC filing, uh, Schedule 13D. I won't talk about what it is. Um, again, this link will be posted below in the description. So check it out uh, if you're interested. But in summary, um, as I mentioned, he bought 100,000 shares. Average cost per share was about $102. And the total cost was a little over uh, $10 million, uh, which is significant. What's also interesting is uh, RC Ventures now owns uh, a little over 9 million shares. So that's close to 12% of the shares outstanding. Now, I won't dive into, you know, shares outstanding as well as who actually owns the shares with GameStop. That's a whole nother thing we can get into at a later date. Um, but this is a fairly significant uh, ownership of a publicly traded company. Okay, I uh, just want to jump over to what we saw trending on Twitter and stock twits. So obviously GameStop uh, became famous through Reddit. Reddit's kind of the, the OG place uh, where you can find out, uh, you know, the most recent news and what's been going on uh, with GameStop, with GME, uh, things like that. Um, but since kind of the, the initial, you know, run up and squeeze um, a little over a year ago, uh, obviously this has become much more publicly available information. Uh, people are discussing it on a bunch of different platforms. And as you see, uh, it's kind of big on, on Twitter and stock tweets. Uh, what we noticed is, uh, this is looking at the 24 hour chart, uh, but it was a significant increase in people mentioning and tweeting uh, cash tag GME on Twitter. So over a 24 hour period, 25 million people uh, saw a tweet mentioning GME on Twitter. So that's significant. If you think about the size of Wall Street bets, it's about, you know, 9 million people. Um, you can argue, you know, a certain number of those accounts actually pay attention and maybe act on that information. Uh, but when you see something that 25 million people see a tweet mentioning GME, you know, again, that's, that's a significant number of people. Similarly, looking at stock tweets, um, you know, it's a, a smaller forum relative to Twitter, you know, I'd guess about, you know, 10 million users, uh, but also a, a pretty good pro proxy of what's uh, trending uh, with regards to particular tickers and same kind of thing. Um, over the last 24 hours, saw an increase in posts, comments, likes, um, and really impressions uh, over a 24 hour period. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, uh, Reddit was the, the OG place for, for GameStop, for GME, uh, Wall Street Bets, and that kind of expanded to, you know, some uh, stock-specific subreddits, uh, RGME, as well as R Superstonk. Uh, I'd highly recommend checking out R Superstonk uh, if you haven't. Um, if you're familiar with GME, then you're probably aware of it. If you're not, uh, it's a great resource, so highly recommend uh, checking it out. Awesome. Why don't we jump over to the trend uh, we noticed on the social dashboard, uh, which is really what sparked me to uh, investigate this a little bit more. So I won't do a deep dive into how this works, um, but all you need to know is that it tracks Twitter, uh, Google Trends, and stock tweets in real time, uh, pulls in tweet level data, and essentially aggregates it so you can spot trends um, and really track stocks and crypto across uh, those social media platforms. Uh, and right now I have GME GameStop highlighted. So we are looking at the 72 hour trend, looking at the prices in green here, as well as the Google searches. 
So what this is showing me is if we look at March 20th, as well as a bit of March 19th, you know, that was uh, over the weekend. Um, not a lot of people are searching GME, makes sense. But then coming into Monday morning, uh, we see the Google searches start to pick up. People are starting to search for, for GME. There's an interest in GME. Um, as Google searches increase, obviously that, that indicates people are interested in, in the stock and what's happening with it. So as that starts to climb, um, the price action on Monday, you know, started off at around $94 a share, jumped up to 97, down to 93. And where to finish, uh, we can dive into this a little bit, but you know, closed around $94 a share. So kind of just ran through that channel, increase in, in search. So then this is just showing kind of the after hour change. Um, it just picks up the price uh, the next day when, when markets open. Uh, but what's really interesting is, again, you see the Google searches start to pick up. So early in the morning on Tuesday, which is today, uh, Google searches start to pick up. So that's kind of a nice leading indicator of interest of people searching GME, searching GameStop, interest in the stock, and obviously, you know, retail um, involvement in what's happening. If we then look at impressions, which, as I mentioned a bit earlier, impression shows how many people see a tweet with the cash tag GME. We see a similar trend. So not a lot of talk over the weekend. Uh, Monday rolls around, more and more people start tweeting about GME, starts to, to heat up. Price kind of stays the same on Monday. But then this morning, um, I think people started to realize, you know, something interesting is happening. Uh, same kind of thing, impressions start picking up. People start tweeting about GME. And right around here, we see a pretty significant increase uh, in impressions. So the other cool part is um, looking at the, the real-time feed. So one thing is seeing how many people are tweeting about GME. The other is what are people tweeting about it? What are the accounts tweeting about GME? Because if there's big accounts tweeting about it, it gets more exposure. More exposure typically leads to more interest. More interest leads to uh, people typically buying or selling stock, increase in volume, et cetera. So what we see here is that, um, let me just pull it up. So we have our influencer feed. So this shows the top tweets over a specific time period. So Charles Payne, uh, obviously a big supporter of, of GME. This was uh, a few hours ago. Um, you know, just provides a bit of insight into to what people are saying. So instead of you having to try to browse through Twitter to figure out what's going on, uh, this will be the kind of the real time feed of, of what people are talking about. Um, and the top accounts that are, are tagging GME. Super useful to know. And again, if it's something that um, if you can catch early is, is a useful trend to, to pick up on. So that's really the, the main things I wanted to highlight. Um, again, we saw the trend uh, yesterday. I was keeping an eye on it. Trading was a bit, uh, bit mixed uh, yesterday, but then today, um, obviously there, there was a bit of action that we saw in terms of impressions increasing as well as Google searches uh, increasing. So just a, a great way to kind of keep a, a bird's eye view of, of interesting trends for, for GameStop. As I said, um, check out the, the links I have below link to the, the blog post kind of detailing this, link to the social sentiment dashboard, super easy to use, awesome tool. Um, and please like and subscribe, leave a comment below. Love to hear from you uh, and look forward to doing the next video. Have a good one.